Jeffers is the senior pastor of the First Baptist Church in Dallas. He is with us now from this event. Uh, Dr. Jeffers, it has been, you have had this opinion for some time, your criticism of the Mormon Church, uh, but you came today to a political event, an event that is very, very important to Governor Perry, who has been stumbling in the polls yes. of late, and you dropped this, what I'm going to call a bomb, going after Governor Romney. Why? Well, first of all, as you noted, John, I did not refer to Mormonism as a cult in my opening uh, introduction of Governor Perry. And I want to make it very clear that Governor Perry had no knowledge ahead of time of what I was going to say. However, uh, this is not an unusual view, uh, John, that Mormonism is not Christianity. Uh, historical Christianity has never embraced Mormonism as a part of its faith. In fact, for many years, the Southern Baptist Convention did label it on its official website as a cult. Uh, that's not saying that Mitt Romney's a bad person. I think he's a good person, a moral person, but he doesn't embrace the historical tenets of evangelical Christianity. But I also want to say, John, there are plenty more reasons not to vote for Mitt Romney other than his religious faith. And I think conservatives have plenty of reasons, leaving Mormonism out of it, not to be energized by Mitt Romney candidacy. But, but do you understand the moment, sir? Governor Perry has been struggling. You came to endorse him today as an individual, to introduce him today. You say you had no conversations with the Perry campaign at all about what you were going to say? No, none at all. And in, in I was a guest here of the Family Research Council, not of uh, Governor Perry. And so you're speaking to reporters after, and you say voting for Romney yes. would give credibility to a cult. There are 16 million Southern Baptists yes. in the United States. So your church has 10,000 members. There are yes. 16 million Southern Baptists. Are you saying, as a preacher in the church that those 16 million people worship in, that they would be giving credibility to a cult if they vote for Governor Romney? Well, I've also said, John, that given the choice between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, I would vote for Mitt Romney. I think it is much better for those of us who are evangelical Christians to have a non-Christian who embraces biblical values in the White House than to have a professing Christian like Barack Obama who addresses and embraces unbiblical positions. And so uh, while I am hesitant uh, and would be at this stage when we can choose a Christian candidate for office, uh, I do think there may come a time when it's going to be the lesser of two evils. And so I would not say under no circumstances would I vote for Mitt Romney. But you know, it was John Jay, the first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, who said we have the duty and privilege to vote and select Christians as our leaders. And again, Mitt Romney's a good moral person, but he doesn't embrace historical Christianity. And frankly, I'm not sure why that's news. That has been the position of evangelical Christians for a long time. It, it has been, sir, but it is news that you did this at this event at this moment in time. You said you would, if faced with a choice between President Obama, the incumbent, and Mitt Romney, were he to win the nomination, you would vote for Mitt Romney. But you know at this yeah. very moment, Governor Perry has stumbled a bit, and he very much, this was an event that was a stepping stone back from his perspective. And, and you decided right now to try to stop Mitt Romney, didn't you? Uh, no, that's not true. I was asked personally in a conference after my introduction about why I personally would be hesitant to vote for a Mormon. And I gave a very honest answer that I felt like it would give credibility to a non-Christian religion. That was me personally. That had nothing to do with Governor Perry, and it occurred after the event. And by the way, this is a historical uh, a conviction of mine in 2007, I said the very same thing, was in the news media talking about Mormonism. This is not some new belief of mine or that of evangelical Christians either. It is not a new belief of yours, but it is, a, it is an issue, a hurdle sometimes to his candidacy that Governor Romney has tried to put behind him. I, I want you to listen to Governor Romney. This is at Fox News Radio just back in September when he was asked about the role of his yes. faith in his candidacy. You know, I know there are some for whom religion is the most important issue, and, and I may lose some of those votes, but for the great majority of Americans, they want to see this country going again. Governor Romney is due to be at that very event where you are, sir, the Values Voter Conference. He is due to be there tomorrow. He would yes. not comment on this tonight. Yes. Uh, would you spend some time with him? Is there anything he could do to convince you uh, that, that he is a Christian? He believes he is a Christian. He says he is a Christian, and that Mormonism is not a cult. Is there anything he could do to convince you? 
Oh, I'd be happy to visit uh, with Governor Romney any time about that. Uh, I don't hate Governor Romney. I think he's a good, moral person. But as a pastor and as a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I have a responsibility to proclaim what the Bible proclaims, and that is there are not numerous revelations from God in the Bible and in the Book of Mormon. Uh, the Bible teaches that uh, there is one way to God, and that is through faith alone in Jesus Christ. So I have to be faithful to my calling as a pastor, and when asked a question by an interviewer after an introduction like I did today, uh, instead of saying no comment, I have a responsibility as a proclaimer of truth to tell the truth. And as a proclaimer of truth, in your view, will you tell your worshipers back in Dallas, will you go to other places in the country and, and express that same opinion, that a vote for Romney would be to give credibility to a cult? I would say that, certainly. I would say why a Christian ought to vote for another Christian. In fact, this coming Sunday evening in my church, I am preaching a, a message on how a Christian should vote. Four questions every Christian should ask before they vote for a candidate. And in my new book coming out in January, Twilight's Last Gleaming, I talk about this issue about why it is so important for Christians to vote for competent Christians. But John, the issue goes beyond Romney's uh, uh, faith. Uh, he is not a consistent conservative. He has not consistently embraced biblical values that we feel strongly about, like the sanctity of life and like the sanctity of marriage. And so I think there are many reasons, even if you don't care about his faith, if you're a conservative, not to vote for Mitt Romney. And, and those are issues that are being litigated in the campaign, in the many debates we have had being litigated. Governor Perry himself questioned Governor Romney's commitment to the pro-life principles at that event today. But to use the term cult and to bring his religion into it, when you know it has been an obstacle and issue for him in the past, uh, that's not by accident, sir. Uh -huh. Well, I was asked a question by a reporter, and I answered You also put out a press slide. release earlier and in the day about your endorsement, and you drew distinctions in that. Yes. That's right, and in that press release, there was not the word cult used anywhere, was there, John? Uh, there was not, sir. You're right on that point. You said in the speech and in That's your right. appearance you would draw sharp distinctions. I want to ask you something else. We, asked, we reached out to the Church of Latter-day yes. Saints tonight to see if they had anything to say about, about your remarks. And they said this, quote, We really don't want to comment on a statement made at a political event, but those who want to understand the centrality of Christ to our faith can learn more about us and what we believe by going to Mormon. Org. Have you ever been to the website? Have you ever spent any time with Mormon ministers trying to see if there's maybe a, you can bridge the gap between your view of cult and their view that they are Christians, good Christians? Yeah. Well, part of it, John, uh, it is not an embracing of historic uh, Christianity. And the term cult, I know that is a very pejorative word to some, but in theological terms, a cult is a religion that has a human leader instead of, of a divine leader. Our leader is Jesus Christ. Joseph Smith is the founder of the Mormon Church. We believe that the Bible is God's sole revelation to man. Uh, the Mormon Church accepts another revelation, and that is the Book of Mormon given by the angel Moroni to Joseph Smith. And so by a theological definition, not a sociological definition, a theological definition, they are a cult. But again, I, so few of your viewers probably even care about that. For conservatives, there are many more pressing issues regarding the presidency, and especially why we need a consistent conservative like Rick Perry than a recent uh, Damascus Road convert to uh, conservative principles like Mitt Romney. Dr. Jeffress, we appreciate your time. Now, let me ask you one last question to follow. And Governor Perry tonight, yes, the only sir. statement we could get from him was that he does not believe Mormonism is a cult. Does that make Governor Perry, in your view, any less of a Christian because he, do he doesn't agree with you? <laughs> no. Not at all. There are many Christians who would disagree with me, probably some of my own church members, John. But again, it's all in how you define the terms. I don't think this is the big issue about Mormonism being a cult or not. It's all in how you define the term. I think the real issue is we as Republicans to unseat Barack Obama need a conservative who is one out of conviction, not out of convenience. And uh, I believe that that's the only kind of person who's going to uh, energize conservative evangelicals to vote. My own feeling is, if Mitt Romney is the Republican candidate, I believe Barack Obama will be the next president of the United States. I remind people all the time, John, that in 2008, 
30 million evangelical Christians sat at home and didn't vote because they were not energized by John McCain. Barack Obama won by 10 million votes. And so for all the Christians out there who say, oh, a candidate's faith makes no difference, there is a large core of evangelicals to whom it is an important issue. So when we can select a Christian candidate like Rick Perry or some other Christian, we ought to do so. But again, in the general election, if it's uh, Romney or Barack Obama, I'll probably hold my nose and vote for Romney. Dr. Jeffress, appreciate your time tonight. You've ignited a bit of a controversy. We appreciate your having the, the willingness to come and explain and explain your views to us. We'll keep in touch in the days ahead, sir. Appreciate it.